Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus Signs and Cross Watchers. Welcome to your Timeless Chakra reading. I am your reader. Mark Angelo Lyons, Mal for short. I'm bad. It's spelled that way. They're my initials. I am a professional witch, professional intuitive, president of Drawing the Circle Productions. Since 1998, at the time of this timeless recording, author of two books, Burks, Mercury's Retrograde, uh, uh, author of two books uh, available, uh, 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 spell ingredients from a professional wish, that was the first one, the second one, Words of Grace from a professional wish has two different versions. It has a Kindle version. You can click the link in the description box and preview it for free and see the table of contents among some other cool stuff. And you'll see that the book is pretty much broken down into chakra chapters, which you know, chakra reading could be helpful. Uh, the original version though is over on Patreon. The original PDF is such, a, so more visual. It's just really, I think, a piece of work. Probably the best thing I've done so far in terms of books. We're working on the next one though. Um, you can check it out in our online store. You don't even have to be a subscriber over on Patreon uh, to check out what's in our store. But some of my subscribers get both of those books as part of their benefit package. But all of my subscribers get three benefits in common. They get a daily check-in with me pretty much every single morning when I send them an unlisted YouTube live stream link where we chat with each other about the day's astrological weather, the magical applications, the spiritual implications, always ending with a prayer, a blessing, a meditation, something, something to send us on our way. And seriously, it is the best way for me to start the day, considering I am moving from Long Island to upstate New York, Saratoga Springs, to be closer to my mom, a whole new career open up for me up there. Very, very excited about it all. And uh, uh, I got to say, my, my patrons are having a field day. They're getting a lot of stuff behind the scenes. So those daily check-ins are really wonderful. They also get all the extended readings, the part twos to the part ones here on YouTube. They also get an extensive discount on private sessions uh, with me, spiritual counseling and readings and all of that. We've got two seven-day free trials, our first two levels of Power Seeker and Human. You can check us out for a week for free, but everyone who has done a free uh, deal has stayed on, and that's just the coolest thing ever. I love it. It's the best thing I've ever done. Click the link, check it out, look at the menu, and then come Patreon on Patreon. I am the Archangel of Lions, Mark Angelo Lions. You could just call me Mal. And my mom is a Cancerian. Uh, I am actually scheduling this video to post on my birthday, September 6th. I will be 55 years old. Yeah, I know I don't look at thanks. I got my mom's skin. Thank the gods. Uh, so, uh,. Let's uh, let's uh, let's get down to business here uh, because I am moving. This is a bit of a shorter uh, read. We've made some changes. I did a video called "Moving and Looking Forward." Explains that uh, here on YouTube. Uh, but it's essentially a five-card draw chakra read, if you want to call it that. We're going to get five cards. First, a Caroline Mace archetype card. For what's going on in the eighth chakra over the head, I learned about the eighth chakra from her book M Y S S P P M Y Caroline A M Y S S. She's a PhD. These are her cards in her book uh, Anatomy of the Spirit, and of course, these are archetype cards dealing with her book Sacred Contract. So it's a lovely merger of that. So. This will determine uh, the soul pattern you are alchemizing from shadow to light, lead to gold, pain to peace, toxic to healthy, fear to love, to become a happier, healthier, wealthier, wiser version of yourself, considering that these archetypes uh, send down codes to all the other chakras, shifting what we attract and what we repel so that we have the opportunity, the free will to heal, to align or not. That's why Daughters of the Moon will give us one card for the heart, third, third eye crown, the internal stuff. The mythic tarot will get us the lower three chakras, the external stuff, relationships in the physical world, including your relationship to yourself in the world. Uh, one whisper of love from the whispers of love oracle, the voices of the higher selves of all involved. So if there are a lot of people involved, you know, that covers that. And uh, we will end with a Matt Con healing mantra so that cross watchers, as well as the Cancerian Collective, have the opportunity to do a little something, you know, for a while, right? And work it into your spiritual practice or whatever you're doing uh, to uh, alchemize your shadow to light, your lead to gold, your pain to peace. We'll talk about that in a minute. Your toxic to healthy, your fear to love, your illusions to truth, right? Uh, to become a happier, healthier, wealthier, wiser, more aligned version of yourself in what I call the golden timeline. 
find lead and gold alchemy. So let's uh, get up in this. Uh, uh, both feet on the floor if you can. Focus on your breath if you will. We're really changing things up this time. But I have been doing these readings for myself just right before we went to contract on this new house. At 1 a.m. usually is when I do it right before I go to bed. Sort of sets me up for the day ahead. And uh, they make me crack up because they're so freaking spot on. I'm like, okay, this is what we're doing this time. And once I'm settled into the new house with my new studio, uh, certainly I will get back to deeper reads. But these seem pretty deep, so both feet on the floor if you can. Focus on your breath if you will. I promise you, I will do my best to help anyone, particularly Cancerians, mom and all, uh, come into alignment to be happier, healthier, wealthier, wiser versions of themselves for a happier, healthier, wealthier, wiser world. What's wrong with that? Nothing I can think about. So the shift from explanation to divination happens in the still point. Let's go there. Ready? Please take a nice deep breath. Still point. Pantheonic override. A place for everything. And everything in its place. Put all where it belongs in time and space for the well-being of all. And with harm to none, as we will it, so let it be done. Beloved pantheons of the divine, what's going on in the eighth chakra that the Cancerians and the Cross Watchers need to be aware of? And you got the gambler archetype. We'll talk about it. Let's get these five on the table, and then we'll put them all together. Please take a nice deep breath. Told you we're doing things different this time. I'm even using sort of a charmed ripoff <laughs> spell, but hey, it's helping me get this house ready for sale. Please take a nice deep breath. Still point. My goddesses override. As I call upon my goddesses, please, a place for everything and everything in its place. Put all where it belongs in time and space for the well being of all and with harm to none. As we will it, so let it be done, my goddesses. What do they need to know about heart thir third eye crown? Ooh, seven of blades, meditation. Good, 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 good. Definitely third eye, maybe throat chakra. There is always a choice to make. And meditation means different things to different people. But let's get these last three on the table. Mythic tarot, please take a nice deep breath. My God's override. <clears throat> a place for everything and everything in its place, put all where it belongs in time and space. For the well-being of all, with harm to none, as we will it, so let it be done. Beloved gods, what do they need to be aware of? Lower three chakras. Oh, ten of cups. Whoa, very cool. All right, good, good, good. That's my true love ecstasy card. You know, true love in many different forms. Let's get the Whispers of Love Oracle, the voices of the higher selves of all involved, because this has got the romance cards in it. Please take a nice deep breath. Still point. Higher selves override. A place for everything and everything in its place, but all where it belongs in time and space, for the well-being of all, and with harm to none. As we will it, so let it be done. Higher selves, what is the whisper of love they need uh, to help bring these chakras into alignment? The heart of the matter, the Don Henley card. It's time to get down to the heart of the matter. Uh, there is more going on than meets the eye. Recognize what all of this is about, and that makes sense with the Seven of Blades, for sure, on the inner. I, I love these. I love these. I really, really do. I mean, really, I would add a Whispers of Lord Ganesh and a Chakra Reading card and Lord knows what else. Lady knows what else. Uh, let's get this healing mantra. Please take a nice deep breath. Still point. Ascended Master's Override. place for everything and everything in its place. Put all where it belongs in time and space for the well-being of all and with harm to none. 
as we will it. So let it be done. Beloved Ascended Master is the perfect healing mantra to help them come into alignment here, alchemizing their shadow to light, their lead to gold, their pain to peace, their toxic to healthy, their fear to love. Gambler in the eighth, seven of blades on the inner, ten of cups on the outer, getting to the heart of the matter in this timeless chakra read. Creating cooperation. Oh, I'm having a, an electric company moment. Rita Moreno. Uh, 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 this is a really good one. More gets accomplished when everyone has a role to play. <laughs> now, let's put these all together. Let's start with the gambler. In the eighth chakra, it is an action family archetype. Written on the card is the shadow and the light. I call this lead. I call this gold. Three atoms in between the two, lead being heavier, toxic, you get the gig. So the lead here is relying on luck rather than hard work. I can't get away with that, not with my mom. <laughs> no, 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 no. The light attribute or the gold you're shooting for here. Willingness to follow your intuition, even when others doubt you. Ooh, particularly if you're an empath and they're like, no, it's great. You can feel they're doubting you. That's great fun. But that would then make sense for you to go in, right? Absolutely go in here uh, with the Seven of Blades. Now, the Seven of Swords is definitely uh, a different vibe in traditional Rider Waite based tarot, but here we have uh, a woman ice fishing with her poppers, right? A hole cut in the ice holding that seventh spear in silence and in stillness so that she can eat, right? Feed the poppers, right? So, uh, you know, meditation is the key word on the card, but you know, meditation is a Latin word. I look up the... My mother's a teacher. Of course, I look up the original meanings of words. And uh, it comes from the Latin uh, meditare, which sounds like an alien race, the meditare. Uh, it means to contemplate. So consider that's Latin. Chances are Buddha wasn't calling it meditation. You know what I mean? So interpret that. There's Eastern, there's Western. It can just be listening. Like when I hear one of my cats up to mischief upstairs, I go, hmm? total stillness, right? Listening. So with the Ten of Cups on the outer, now this is a thing, minor arcana are a thing, major arcana are places, court cards, people, uh, people, places, and things. This is the final union of Eros and Psyche, uh, my, the true love card to me, but true love comes in many different forms, right? In relationships, it can also be true love with the divine, true love for anything, truth and love unified in choices and decisions as we go along, bringing those into alignment. And I think we've got a kitty cat with a hairball in the background. There's a lot being swept and dusted, so I'll do my best here. So uh, it does make sense to get to the heart of the matter. There's more going on here. Now, what's interesting is the gambler here, a little bit like the fool in the tarot, is walking a tightrope, one foot extended, blindfolded, right? So there may be a leap of faith here in that sense, but with stillness on the inner, and all of this, your element, Cancerians, water on the outer, your cups overflow with joy. So I would say your lower three chakra intuition is going to tell you what's going on. Like every chakra has a different intuitive voice that only you can feel and really interpret. Yes, divination's helpful, um, but that's our lesson, intuition, right? Like what you pay to learn. You pay tuition for something. So, you know, this is very, very powerful and an opportunity for, you know, joy, bliss, the higher octave of vibration. And that's as a result of getting to the heart of the matter, getting that there's more going on here than you may realize, and that's seven of blades, points right too with seven pointy blades pointy pointy nointy nointy and of course the mantra creating cooperation more gets accomplished when everyone has a role to play ten of cups can also mean a group of people right tribal root chakra uh dynamic so i'm gonna read there's only one bookie book read here and creating cooperation is a really 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 uh, lovely thing so more gets accomplished when everyone has a role to play when cooperation is created, the unity of all is access to accomplish more in one moment than any one person can do alone. As a creator of cooperation, you are giving the others or others the right 
to contribute, which only broadens the effect of collective expression. That could very much be that ten of cups there. I like that. Once cooperation is created, all facades of competition melt away, allowing each individual to feel a renewed depth of self-worth by serving a vision greater than any degree of individual gain. And that's like something I learned from Marianne Williamson back in the 90s. She's like, it's in her book Enchanted Love. It's about you know romantic relationships and all of that. Good book. Uh, to, to have a, a purpose uh, larger than the relationship itself can be a very, very powerful thing. So this mantra is ideal for enhancing teamwork. <laughs> Makes the dream work. Uh, transforming family dynamics, but if that is the case, this is in a very joyful, loving way. Uh, and increasing inner peace, which you know, meditation is supposed to do that, I hear. Well, it does it for me. You know, mileage may vary. So let's put this together in a blessimation, and then we'll talk about cool stuff at the end if you want to uh, chill for that part. Please take a nice deep breath last time. Still point. Pantheonic override. And we end as we began, as we call upon the collective pantheons of the divine. For the Cancerian Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, and their cross-watchers, that they may be blessed with all that they need to willingly follow their intuition, even when others doubt them through stillness and silence and meditation, getting to the heart of the matter, but we'll get to that heart of the matter, so that their cups may overflow in joy, in bliss, in ecstasy, and in true love, which can take many different forms, practically infinite number of forms. If they alchemize the lead to gold, that's the gig, because they do need to get help them get to the heart of the matter. There's more going on than meets the eye, that they can recognize what all this is about so that they can create cooperation simply because more gets accomplished when everyone has a role to play so that they can heal, they can grow, they can learn, they can evolve, they can become happier, healthier, wealthier, wiser versions of themselves and meet the happier, healthier, wealthier, wiser versions of all involved for a happier, healthier, wealthier, wiser way to a happier, healthier, wealthier, wiser world for the well-being of all, and with harm to none, as we will it, so let it be done, so will it be, and so it is, that felt so delicious, I hope you liked that reading, and if you did, hit the thumbs up, helps other crab cakes find the read, my crab cakes, uh, and certainly, you know, comment, what is this about, if you like, and then please do check out Patreon. I'm not kidding. We're doing cool stuff over there. Seekers, humans, heroes, angels, witches, immortals, mystics, gods, goddesses, one tier. They're the top tier. They get everything. All of my subscribers. Get the daily chicken. The ex extended readings. All of the past, present, and into the future. And an extensive discount on private sessions with me. We've got Seeker and Human with seven day free trials. There's a shop. You can shop in all the digital stuff over there that, that's there and ready for the purchasing. As well as you can follow us without being a subscriber and get the, the public content that I put out. And I do put out some decent public content out there. So uh, I love it. Check it out if you want. Come Patreon on Patreon with the Archangel Alliance. Mark Angel Alliance. If you can just call me Mal. And if you'd like to book me for a private session because Yes, things are changing, but because I changed my recording schedule, I'm taking clients sometimes in less than 24 hours, and that is rare. Uh, so absolutely, there's a video in the description box, Booking Private Sessions with Mal will explain everything for you. We can Facebook Messenger, we can Zoom record it. I actually have one of my patrons coming here tomorrow uh, to take some stuff, right? I'm giving away a lot as I'm cleaning out the house. Very Cancerian. Mercury's retrograde, Chiron's retrograde, everything's retrograde, might as well. Uh, uh, and yeah, she's coming for a reading as well as the gut stuff. So that was put together really over a couple of quick messages. So if you want to book me spiritual counseling, reading, whatever, we'll make it work. Well, and watch the video. It's a fun video. My mom loves it. And uh, oh, I already.
already made that thing disappear, but that's how excited I am about moving forward. And this is actually publishing on my birthday, so happy birthday for moi, to me, à moi, whatever, armoires. Oh God, there's so much going on. So wish me the best as I wish you the very best and the very blessed good segue. My beloved Cancerians, my crab cakes. I love you all of this. I almost got my signs, but you're both water signs, so it's fine. You can do this. Hang in there. Go create some cooperation and follow your intuition because damn, you're amazing at it when you do. Hang in there. Heal. Hail. Farewell. And blessed, blessed be.